Welcome back to Summit Sunrise Live here on TV8 Summit. I'm Shauna Henderson, joined by Aaron, one of my favorite interviews because we're always learning something new, Aaron. And so I always bring caffeine. And she always brings me caffeine, which is great. So what what do we have today? I brought you our maple spice latte today. It just seems like oh my gosh. such a good season for it. Oh. And you know, we're heading into fall, we're heading into those fall seasons and um, Everything turns. In, I saw pumpkin spice toilet paper at the grocery <laughs> store. I kid you not. So everything is turning pumpkin. But I think what people really like about that is really just the spices, the cloves, the nutmeg. Yeah. And so we have a lot of fun drinks that you can really play with with that. We have a cinnamon orange spice black tea. Um, we have a strawberry sassafras white tea, and both of those have those really mm. kind of um, spicy fall sort of flavors to it that are so nice just to come in and drink. And I know it's supposed to get to 60 degrees this week. But the mornings are still, I think my thermometer said 27. Oh, yeah, it's chilly. It's, it's chilly. still warm drink weather. <laughs> <laughs> well, I love these like flavors because these are the comfort flavors, in my opinion. Like you, yes. vanillas and the, the maples. Ginger. Mm -hmm. Yes. It always just gives you in that, oh, it's still nice out, but the, we know that winter's coming, but we're right? going to ease it's into it. It's a cozy. <laughs> we're going to put all these fun uh, associative words with food right so right. like nutmeg is a cozy spice <laughs> yes <laughs> maple is a mm, taste good it's and the yummy. next step up from crayon naming is spice association <laughs> that's yes. really what about, thank you this is you must have You're known welcome. because i uh you know as a kid we used to have our maple trees and we made our own maple syrup well, so right. this just brings me back to being childhood things and i learn about shauna in the morning <laughs> she can make homemade maple syrup well, i guess <laughs> Oh, I'm not sure. So um, so what else is going on? There's a few things going on in Summerthorne you wanted to mention this Saturday. Yeah, you know, so Saturday for us at Red Buffalo, we have our live music every yes, Saturday. We right. had Keith Fenestat play this past Saturday. He's so fun because he'll like go around and get to know the tables who are sitting with us. And the weather is still so nice. Our back patio right on the Blue River just has the cottonwoods changing their colors. And it's just great. Um, also this Saturday, too, for the Summit School District, we are big supporters of the Summit School District. I used to be on the board uh, myself, and they have their uh, yard sign kickoff for their election question that's gonna be at the Summit Middle School at 10 o'clock this Saturday. They'll have like a big kickoff party for it. Um, if you want more information, they have their stuff. You can also ask us at Red Buffalo, but I always say that when you go to local coffee shops, you get to learn your local community and what we support or what's going on, fun events, you know, local gossip. I love, I, I love, I wish I could be a fly on the wall more often yeah. because I'll have like county commissioners in, I'll have sheriffs in, I'll have a knitting group over there. I have first dates. Those are fun to listen in on. <laughs> Um, all sorts of fun things happen at your local coffee shops. Yeah, and, and they're so knowledgeable, so it's as perfect to, to you can go in. People actually know what's happening. Yes. And they can tell you where the best hikes are, where the best places to see the leaves and all those things. So. All those sort of things. And mm -hmm. even just, you know, people go like, well, where is, is the best place to get my air put in my tires? Or, you know, uh, what's the law for uh, tires? I had someone call us the other day for the morning and ask, well, what's the weather like up there? Did it really <laughs> snow? And I'm thinking to myself, you have a smartphone, but you still call the, you know, the coffee shop to figure out what the weather is like. And, and sometimes they don't know because we're actually looking outside and seeing yes. that it did snow or just check mm -hmm. out Facebook. It's all over there. Yeah, so, so we're your baristas, we're yeah. your weatherman, we're your local information shop is your local place. And if people can find out more information, they definitely want to go to your Facebook page as well. So tell us about yes. your Facebook page or your website. Our our website is redbuffalocafe.com. That has our online shopping stores. So if you come in and you really like our jazzy job and you want us to ship it to you, or our Facebook page, which is backslash Red Buffalo Cafe, has all of our events. And then our Instagram page just has fun pictures of things you're going to see. We had someone want us to make them a specific latte art drink so they could use it in their engagement photo shoot. That's really cool. And it turned cool. out beautiful, but all those fun <laughs> things you can see on our social media pages. Well, that's great. Well, Erin, thank you so much. Thanks for again. having me today. And um, and don't forget, there is a yes. Pumpkin Fest as well. This Pumpkin song. Fest is October 9th. It's okay. a Sunday. That is such a fun family event. It's free. Town of Silverthorne gives away 1,500 free pumpkins. Kids dress up in their Halloween costumes. We give away free hot chocolate and apple cider and coffee. Cool. And there's face painting, bouncy houses, all the fun stuff. A lot stuff. of things. Well, a lot going on this weekend. Again, check out Red Buffalo Cafe, just north of, uh, right next to the I-70, uh, right before you go anywhere. All right, take care. We'll be right back after the short break.